I'm Kim. And I'm Daryl. And Christmas came early. Hey, I just want to make sure everybody knows up front that this is not a paid sponsor. Uh, we received this. We're going to check it out and give it a good review and see what we think. So this is the Rattan LM750 e-bike. Uh, it came to us from Amazon and we're going to do an unboxing to see how they shipped it, how it was packed, and see how easy it is going to be coming right out of the box. It's supposed to be pretty uh, well assembled, so we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so our plan is this year is to uh, go to the southwest for winter until it warms up. But we just don't want to sit out there. We want to go do things. So other than our walks and our hikes, I thought we'd get on some e-bikes and drive around and maybe meet some people. I think it would be a lot of fun. Yep. And we got helmets too. That's right. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox this and uh, hopefully bear with me and uh, we'll knock this out. Hopefully it's easier than mine that he got me. Or maybe we just didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> so anyway, this one is, was shipped uh, FedEx. And this one looks like it's going to be packed in a pretty good styrofoam case. So they pretty well filled this thing with foam, I guess, after it was stuck in here. So we might just have to cut the side open and peel this thing out. I want to make just sure this doesn't this hit right. that. Yes, me too. So, so let, why don't we turn the box around? So let me open it. He had actually ordered first the e-bike. Am I right, Daryl? That you had ordered the e-bike and it was going to take the, too long? I ordered the Electra uh, e-bike, but they only get so much in a month. They ship out of Arizona. Um, from what I can tell, they're not made in Arizona. They're just distributed out of Arizona. But they weren't going to be here to the campsite that we're at uh, early enough so we could get them because we're going to be leaving, yeah. so we decided, ah, we better not, better not chance. We don't want to be waiting on packages. Yeah, that's right. They got it together pretty good. The box is pretty tight here. Whew. I'll hold this up while you scoot it out. So that's the way it looks. What are those things? That's just where it's like. It looks like little buffer pads. Okay. Stuff, huh? yep. Look how weird it is, y'all. It's all that expandable foam, so we want to keep this on to keep it punches that foam in there if we can. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wait, here, look. Is it like tape in the middle or something? That's just the plastic that's on the bike. Oh, oh look, here's the thing. Uh, no, Daryl, you don't have to do that. Can you do this? And then it just opens up. You know, no, take all this foam off. This is the pla This is the and foam around the bike. And then this right here is the plastic around the bike. And this yeah. is protecting it so this doesn't get on the bike. So if we do that, we can pull the bike out, and you don't have to take all this stuff off. Is what I'm saying. Okay. I don't think so. Well, at least this will peel off better, maybe. Yep. Two heads are better than one. Mine was definitely not packed like this. 
This no, is this actually is a better way lot to do it. To be honest with y'all. Right, let's see what next is going to You want to get on this side or you want to? These things weigh about 60 pounds uh, in about total weight. So you need to lift it and put it inside or whatever. You got to make sure you got a little bit of ump ump or a couple pieces. Yeah, it's not that light. So let me get this box out of the way. And we'll come back to you. And we'll open this thing up. This one looks really nice. It's got the extra wide tires and stuff on it too, right Ben? Right. This has got the uh, four inch uh, fat tires. The 500 watt bikes only have three inch, so you gotta be kind of careful. This is really nice. Mine doesn't have this where all your cables are tucked inside. That's really nice. Yep. All right, I think the rest of it's just tape. Cool. What did you say that was? That's your uh, your readout, your digital readout. It tells you how fast you're going, gears, and stuff like that. It tells you your mileage, your speed. Huh. All right, you throw that away because I want you to hold the bike so I don't accidentally drop it. And the reason why Daryl and I got different bikes is because of the weight of yeah, them. This Some one's them... rated to 300 pounds. Kim's is rated for 200 pounds. And also a bigger one, a bigger motor, it won't run out of battery as fast since right. I'm a little bit bigger. Now there's one more plastic tie that's holding them together where they fold. This is a foldable bike. this in like that and then you get to take this little switch down and I'll do some up close stuff later on maybe but that's how it locks in if you don't push this down this can come back out Ooh, that be good. so 
So this has the adjustable and the lockdown, kind of similar to what the other one is, and it's got a clip on it also. I'll get some up-close stuff up for this here in a minute. All right, so let's see if we can get the handlebars on. There's got to be a right way and a wrong way here. Oh, it's got a groove on it. Right. But this has got to go. It only goes in one way. That's not true. So this bar, handlebar, only goes in one way. It doesn't. It's not universal. It's actually got a kind of tongue and groove in here. So once you get that in, push this down, lock it in and then put the key lock on it. That's a nice size bike. It's a big bike. Alright, so I'll turn it around. So you can see this side of it. There's the kickstand down there. <laughs> and there you go. See, but this is really nice. I like this because mine doesn't have that. No. Mine splits and goes on both sides, which I don't really care, but it's just a better, you tell that it's a better thought out. See, bye. The seat's separate. Now, I don't know how comfortable this seat's yeah. going to be, but we'll figure it out. We've you known have to get another one. people that get different ones. There's an adjustment screw on how tight you want it. They say you're supposed to push these in, not real hard, but hard enough where this won't turn. So you don't want to get it too tight. That might be just a little too tight. So I'll back <laughs> screw off a little bit. And there you go. It's pretty hard, <laughs> but I'll have it set on it. So. Yeah, we'll just have to check it out. You can always upgrade your seats. Yeah. Keep those for spares. Well, most people do. But this one can ride for two. It comes with a tool kit. We'll figure what that is. How would you ride somebody back there? You have to just get foot pedals to put back it's there It's got pedals for it. Oh, does it? Yes. Well, why don't we just buy one and you ride me around? <laughs> right, guys? I gotta have some place for Bentley to ride, and I can also put a maybe a milk crate or something back here if we go into town or whatever and get some That's stuff. That's true. You know, instead of getting saddlebags. But well, we were thinking about getting a um, basket to put on the front, but I honestly don't think this bike is gonna work out for a basket on the front for Bentley. So here's the foot pegs that go down here. We'll put those on here in a little bit. So it's. It's the model LM500 uh, or 750 with the brochure set. The only difference is, is this motor back here is 750 watts compared to the other one that's 300 or 500. So you can, you'll be able to sit on it. Got a light. It, 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 this one comes with the light. Comes Where's with your the horn? The bell? Yeah. He's moving up. So we'll finish taking off all the packaging here and then we'll come back to you. Alright, we got it out of the box. We got everything done. We still have to put the foot pedals on there and um, charge it, of course. But this is really a nice bike. Hopefully the seat's going to be comfortable. We have here, we have a horn. Cute. A we have a light here. We have a throttle here. And we also have the little thing where you change the speed, right? I don't that's, know what yeah, it's called. That's a seven speed. It's a seven speed bike. 
you can shift there to make it go just like your regular 10-speed bicycle you have a throttle here and we don't know if that's a throttle there this may make it go up in gear and this may make it go down in gear well, it has a plus on it so we'll have to look and see but. right and right. it's got the little th monitor thing here to tell you how fast you're going and everything yep. this you, is really a nice bike you got front and rear brakes it's a 48 volt battery this battery will come out it's got a lock unlock a run and on so once you have it in here it'll lock in and won't come out but i'm sure i'll pull the seat off to get it off didn't their older version have the battery in here that's, that's right well yeah. that was the that was the bear plus i think they called it. i don't think they even make it anymore oh. it was a prototype bike they gave a lot of youtubers them uh free to check out tires on it are the let's see if i can get it up close is the uh cst bft 20 by 4.0 which is four inches so they're 20 inch tires by four inch fenders look nice they are plastic though the other ones were metal yeah. on yours which is okay got a rear light so this one's really set up for uh legal uh street for, legal yeah for street legal but we're going to give this a thing get the manual out do some reading watch a few videos put the fit pegs Charged on and get that battery charged because it is down to almost uh one bar so we want to give it a good full charge but anyway that's it for the unboxing we'll get back with you later on some other details stay tuned